a member of the Heat, I'll take away just the sense of family. You train with a team almost every single day for five years, and whether you like them or not, you, you learn to love them. And, you know, as, as a team, we've gone through so many ups and downs. That's the most incredible part of the journey is to have those highs and have those lows, but still come back from those lows, you know what I mean, and come out successful. Playing volleyball for the Heat has been <laughs> really wonderful. It's been amazing to see how the program has grown over the four years that I've been here. Just how we've gotten so much better, transitioned into CIS. It's been so much fun and so great to see. Just like any pro hockey team, pro NBA team, it's very important to have guys with experience on our team, especially five-year veterans. Well, there's a leadership component there that needs to be passed down from our older players to our younger players and, you know, from things to like, like routines that we do or expectations or uh, effort in the weight room or expectations in the classroom. You know, it, a lot of that comes from the coach, but it, it uh, is a little more powerful sometimes when it comes from players' peers and, and obviously their captain and their, their uh, older teammates. My legacy is that I'm hoping is that I'll be considered a good teammate, that I, I tried hard and, and worked hard even when things weren't going well. And I was just there to support my teammates and at the end of the day I always had the best interest of the team and, and the people around me. It's very prideful when you put on the jersey and even when you're around campus. Like people know you're an athlete. They're very they come out to games, they cheer for you and it's just giving back to the school, like giving them something to watch, come do something on the weekends. People tend to look up to you when they see a hit athlete. And so it's it's good, it's a blessing, I, I really enjoy it. I've been really thankful that I played soccer here. It's been one of the best experiences of my life. Like every day I just feel so lucky to be able to have the opportunity to come in and play for the Heat. It's just really been a great experience. Like I'm so thankful that I got and like have been blessed to be able to come to this school. I first got here when I was 17 years old, so I was really young. I spent four years of my, pretty much my whole adult life here. So many lifelong friends, you know, it's helped make me grow into you know, the man I am today, kind of. Oh, it's been a great experience. I mean, I've been here for two years and I've really embraced the community here. It's been great in the classroom and it's been a great building process on the court as well. I've been here my entire five years. I've seen the school grow and just being able to be a part of a growing program has meant a lot to me in the sense that a lot of young players have come and gone. And since I get to play an extra year for my red shirt last year, it just helps me help the program, makes it feel really good. As the season goes, we try to, to not think about it too much and not look too far forward. There's no question that it, it's in the back of the minds of the veteran players that, you know, it's their last two months, it's their last month, it's their last run for league play in the playoffs and so on. So, you know, we try to not address it too much and, you know, we try to not talk about the, you know, what's the expression, the pink elephant in the room. So they just keep working hard and, and obviously everybody wants to be successful down the stretch, but for sure the graduating players want to go out with a bang. So there's lots of hard work that's happening and, and they're making sure they're putting the work in necessary for us to be successful down the stretch. I'm cherishing every moment because I know I'm going to miss it. Switch it, switch it.